Hello, good morning, and welcome to New Forest Morse. Jared's with me this morning, and Jack. We've just, uh, it's Wednesday, and we've um, had a good feeding day, and uh, everything's digested, so we're ready to do some pairings. So there's just two pairings that we're doing today, and do you know which ones they are, Jack? Yep, we've got cinnamon pied. Cinnamon pied, so Elvis. cinnamon het pied. So this is going to be our panda pied project. So here he is, and he's been so good, isn't he? He's locked up to a couple of girls and uh, it's time for him to lock up to our Sienna. Now Sienna is, um, just remind me what she is, Jack? Cinnamon 100% Hep Pied. So she's a Cinnamon 100% Hep Pied. So Elvis is a Cine Pied, male, proven breeder. He's looking lovely, isn't he, Jared? Beautiful. And uh, Sienna. I love his speckles. Yeah, he's getting more speckles all the time, have you noticed? Yeah. So, but looking beautiful. So Sienna is, uh, we moved her up a little bit, didn't we? Where is she? Or yellow She's tag. the yellow tag. So anything with the yellow tag is good news. Breeding, there we go, there she is, Chad. Have a little look at her. She's lovely, isn't she? Yeah. So we'll just let these two go together. They were paired last year, successfully. Let's see how they, how they were the clutch. Yeah. My favorite snake came from them. And you have you put one of the one of their babies on Morph Market today? Yeah, uh, today I put on. It's just a single gene pied. Yeah. A male that's up for sale. So. Yeah. And how much are you looking for on him? I think we put up for two fifty. Two fifty. So if anybody needs a single gene pied male, <clears throat> right, we'll leave these two in peace. And uh, why don't we show off the we'll show off the baby in a minute to anyone that might want to buy him. And uh, what's the other one, Jared? Clown. So it's the clown Joker, and where's Joker going to? Pastel yellow belly pie. Look how beautiful he looks, Jared. He's so beautiful and clean. He's done a poo in the back there as well. So he's very much ready for this. And there we go. Okay, he's sniffing me out. Jared, if you can open the drawer for me. And just show her, this is a pastel yellow belly pie, isn't it? Yeah. And her name is Buttercup, I think. So we're hoping to get some pastel yellow belly Double head pie clouds. There you go, boy. You got the chance to enjoy her. Go check her out. There we go. <laughs> he's such a big boy, isn't he? He's about two and a half k, isn't he? Bigger than her. Yeah. And she must be getting on for what? Eighteen hundred, maybe two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. She gave us some lovely babies last year. And uh, he's just sniffing her hormones. She's just chilled. But they're now getting together. Look, look. Yeah, very impressive. So that's the two pairings for today. And yeah. there's no other pairings, Chad, that we want no, to just do. just the two for now. We've got a few in shared and the rest of all paired, so. Yeah, okay. I think we had such a good breeding success last week that we had nearly 10 pairs in the end that went off when we added those extra two. So we did 10 pairs last week. This week's gonna be a lower pairing because we've got animals in shed. So Jared, while I wash my hands, do you wanna just show off the baby in the light box? Yeah. So you can see what you're selling and else. So this is the one that we've got up for sale. I'll put him in the light box so everyone can see. He's a beautiful, beautiful pied. Let me just turn this on quickly. Here he is. And he's got a a little speckle like his dad. He's a lovely male. He weighs he weighs 200 grams exactly at the moment. Um, and he's up on Morph Market if anyone's interested. So feel free to check him out. Are there any other babies that have um, shed out that might be? Oh, can we um, have a look at the pumpkin pie that shed out? This so yeah, she, she looks beautiful. Eat, eat. Put her in the light box and see how she's shining. She's getting big. I reckon she's what, 600 plus? Yeah, I think she is. Yeah. She's beautiful, Joan, isn't she? Gorgeous. Yeah. I just love pumpkin pines. They're such a, a beautiful animal. She looks lovely with a new paint job, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah, gorgeous, Joan. Gorgeous. She's getting so big. I mean, I remember when they were born, they were literally about 50 grams, and she's now, what, six? Should we weigh her? Let's just weigh her, Jan, and see what she weighs. So I've got the scales out. We're going to have a weighing day today. 
just zero that out. Uh, guess the weight, Jan. Mm. I'm going to say 640. I'll go 625. 625, okay. 632, 631. So halfway between the two of us. Well, I'm actually closer, but that's fine. <laughs> 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 One nil to Jared, so it's going to be a weighing competition, is it? Right, let's start to put this in there. Let's weigh some of our progressing girls, some of our boys as well. We can leave the light box on in case anything is shared and we can show that off as we go. So, Ariel, um, she actually nearly tagged me today because Jumba Jada, when I was cleaning her, so I've got to be a little bit careful here. And we want to weigh her. Actually, we did weigh her before. She knows she's trying to buy you. Yeah, she's 1700 grams, so we won't go there again because she did it. I almost got bitten. My first bite from an adult, she came so close, she just nipped my glove, didn't she? <laughs> when I was cleaning, she just touched the glove. And it was my own fault. I was trying to wear her in a smaller bot, in a smaller container. Should have used the big one because she wasn't comfortable in the smaller container and she was toppling over. She decided to strike at me, and it was my own fault for not actually putting in the right size container. So now let's move on to Tinker. So these are all, this one's the, she's 100% Hep Pie female. And let's have a little look. Come in close, Jan, let's see, have a look at her. Should we guess the weight? What are you gonna guess here? She looks about 1295. 1295, I'm gonna say 1320. What have we got? 1548. There we go. So she is up for size. Could breed with her, Jared, and that would stimulate her further um, to put on weight. So that's one that we could consider. But what male would you put to her if we were to do that? Um, potentially the Dream School, potentially Lightning Pied. If those two don't work, then Cinnamon Pied. Has the lightning pied got up to size? Should we have a look at his weight and see how big he is? Because we might be able to bring on our new boys and see if he goes up. He's quite a big boy. Should we weigh him up and see? He's not in shed or anything. No. Okay. So now, what we're doing here is I guess we're getting a, a feel and flavour for our grow ons and seeing whether any of them are big enough to actually put together. So how much is he coming in, Jack? 6.33. A bit too small for me. I like them to be as much as a thousand before they go. He's a lovely boy though. Yeah? No, I, I wouldn't uh, want to risk it. He might have a few in his pound if we put members in Jack. Yeah. So, but it's good to be able to just see how the bed boys are doing. Right? Yeah. So the one that I would consider is Bowser. If he's not in shed, maybe try him again. Because he's, he's not bred. But it depends on whether he's in shed or not. Should we get him out and have a little look? He's Easy deep shed. shed. Yeah. Deep, deep shed. So he certainly won't be coming into the into the mix. We'll leave him for a bit. That's fine. Um, okay. So what other potential males would you consider, Jared? This you, you said obviously it'd be you don't have to put in a pie to her, but she is hundred percent pie, so it'd be it'd nice be to better get too, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise you end up with possible hits and it's not. Yeah. So I think fun. the key is to build her up a bit more and then when Bowser's ready, give him yeah. another shot. Would that be a tactical yeah. move on our side? There's no rush. There's no rush. No. And we want to make sure we give the best possible genes in. So we'll leave that one. But what we should do is record her weight, 1550, Jad. Yeah, we'll do it after the video. So I'll just take a note of some, I think we'll take some notes as we go because I'll forget this otherwise. <laughs> or I can just put it straight on if you like. So. And that will take some notes as we go. So fifteen fifty, and that will be Tinker. We're not going to tinker with Tinker, are we, Jared? Yeah. So one, one, one thirty. I'll just put the number, and then I'll just put the weight. So what was it? Fifteen fifty. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And what did we weigh in the lightning pie? It was six hundred and twenty something. Six thirty one, I think it was. And that's the. Uh, Rambo. Is that Rambo? Is that his name? Is that Rambo? What's his number? Thor. Thor. What's his number? 84. Thor. 84. Okay. So let's have a look at the Now, Mulan, we know um, we haven't weighed her. Have a look at her size. Now, she's going off to Ed. And by the way, Ed's just got his new racks. So as soon as we're 
clear on COVID, they can come and pick her up. But I reckon she's about 1500 or thereabouts. We won't weigh her because we'll leave her. So that's fine. And then let's go down to Queenie. She's certainly big enough to, to breed with Jad. Yeah. And I think last time we were going to put, who did we put to her? I think we put the clown. Clown boy. So maybe we'll bring the clown boy in later and give her another opportunity to breed. Um, Peach, which is our female dreamsicle. Let's have a little look and see how she's doing. They normally go in shed together, don't they? Is she in shed or is she? She's not in shed. I think she might be about to start. Should we weigh her and just see how much she weighs? Yeah. So just put her up there. She's got to put these back to put Tinker's hide back in there. Sorry Tinker, you, you're missing your hide, aren't you? Got to try and remember to put the hides back, Jared. So I think, we'll just have a look at the dreamsicle girl. She's lovely, Jared. I'm going to guess, what weight are you going to guess? Peach. 1,120. 1,120? I'm going to say 1,160. Is it good to go? Yeah. 1,160 is what I'm saying. 1084. 1084. Just very good. She's doing well, isn't she? Yeah, she's packing on her weight. She's lovely. You're a beautiful girl. Aren't you just lovely? And she's got a lovely temperament. She likes to come out and play as well, Jad, doesn't she? There she is. Right, darling, we'll put you back. It's nice to hand them off a little bit because I think handling them is helping to keep them nice and tame, isn't it, Joe? And we'll just put that back. Okay, so just record 10, 1084 and she's number 94. 1084 grams and that's 94. Um, Elsa at the bottom. Let's see how she's doing. Now she's, I think she's 100% hep pride, isn't she, Joe? Yeah. Should we have a look and see how she's doing? I'll just put Peach's hide back. Ah, I've already yeah. put hers back. Where did I get this one from? Maybe Ariel. Was it Ariel? It was Ariel. There we go, darling. Sorry about that. Right, let's have a look and see what's going on here. Oh, look at the size of this one. This one is not far off, Jared. She needs to have her tub cleaned. Yeah. Right, let's just see how much she weighs. Guess, Jared? 13.45. God, she got the heat signature on the camera there, Jared. Interesting. <laughs> how much? 13.08. 13.08, okay, that's fine. Right. <laughs> just out of it. <laughs> right, where's my, pass me that tissue, Jad. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take her out of stripe mode here. That's it, you got her? Yeah. <laughs> that's her um, hide, if I give her a hide, we'll just be careful, Jad, because she's in stripe mode. She's fine. Yeah. Gosh, I've never seen an animal strike the camera quite like that. She's certainly quite fiery, isn't she? And what was her weight, Jared? 1308. Yeah, something like that. 1308. So she's not far off. So we'll just record her. And that is 127. 127, 1308. So these are going to be excellent. These girls are going to be way up for it for the next breeding season. So there's some lovely progressing animals here. Now let's go on to Rambo, our desert ghost male. And let's see how much he weighs. Guess the weight, Jared? Um, it's about 900. I'm going to say 1,000. Wow. 1,170. So he's certainly big enough to be breeding. So we can bring him into it. So what was his weight, Jared? 1170. 1170. He's a lovely specimen, isn't he? Lovely. He's got to size really well. 1170. Really he's 1170. There you go, fella. 
Very nice, Jared. 81, 1170. So they're all doing well. We had him, what size did we buy him in? About 250? Less than that. He was 100 and something. Was he? He's really doing well. He's only, what, we've only had him about six months, seven months. I suppose his wife, she's also the same Desert Ghost Enchi 100% Het for Caramel. She'll probably be about the same. I'm going to guess, she's not quite as big, Jad. I'm going to say that she's about 1,000. Maybe about nine. I'm going to say 960. I'm okay, getting 1,000. Okay. So you're, you're closer to me. Very good guess. So she's doing well, isn't she? Again, she's lovely. Beautiful, beautiful snake. I love the patterns. I think the Inchi and Desert Ghost work well together, Jad. Yeah. So 990, so she's almost on that thousand. And she's eating fine. No issues there. Sometimes people say that they meet thousand gram wall but we've not actually met that at this stage so she's 990 grams and that will be ISA number 82 right Nagini is a male 100% hep pied so we thought it was she was a female but um, we're probably going to sell this one aren't we Jad yeah, yeah. so she's about a thousand Phoebe let's see how Phoebe's doing Now Phoebe is a Het Russo. Het Russo fire, 50% Het Pied. I think she's lovely, Jad. And she's recently shed out, so you're going to see her at her best. I want to say that she is about 1160. Your guess? Mm. 11, uh, 1220. 12, 10. 12, 10. She's doing well. Should we put her under the light box to see what she looks like, Jan? What do you think? She looks fine. She looks fine. So 26. Okay. She won't look much different under there. She's lovely. I think fire and hep Bruce go well together. And she's 50% hep pie. Does she have any mar markings on her tail that we can see whether she's... Mm -hmm. She does. Yeah. Where? Are there, mar are there markers on her tail? There's no tracks. Are they not tracks? No. Let me have a look. Tracks at either side. So she's got a track down the middle. That's weird. I've never seen a track just down the middle. Um, there's no ringer on her, is there? So no. we'll have to see. But she's got the het rooster and the fire, which I think are beautiful jeans, Chad. Yeah, we'll have to prove her out. So we'll leave her in peace. See what she is. Yeah. Good. And now Mowgli is... Oh, let's just record her weight. So she is 26. And what's she weighing at? 12, 10. Top 10. Okay, and now Mowgli. Let's look at Mowgli. So he's our pastel leopard, 100% clown, 50% pie, is he, or the way around? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let's see how he's doing. I guess his weight, Jared? Mm, a thousand. I'm going to say. 980. 915. 915. So again, he's big enough to breed with. And he's starting to mature. Has he got the tracks and the pied? It's hard to tell with leopard because it's so broken up. Look at that again. That is difficult, isn't it? Right, we'll put him back. Here you go, Mowgli. You are a beautiful one. So he'll be featuring in next year's breeding program. I think he'll be mature enough for next year, Jared. I think he's uh, pack on a bit more weight, get him over the thousand, I think. So he was 910, was he? Yeah. So 910, that's Mowgli, and he's coming in at number two. Good, and then we've got a phantom female pastel yellow belly Celeste, which I think is gorgeous, Jared. Shall we see what she's coming in at? Guess the weight, Jad. He's <laughs> fine. So I can maybe jump there. Yeah, I think you're more she jumpy than snakes. I am feeling a little bit jumpy today, but 12, 30. I'm going to say 13, 13, 20. 
1305. 1305. 1305. Bit of banging going on over there. Have to keep an eye on those pairs, Jared. And that is number 15. 1305. So she needs a couple of hundred to be up to size. So she's not far off, Jared. Beautiful animal. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. Yeah. There we go. We'll leave you in peace. But yeah, she's. So I think we're going to have a lot of new females coming into the breeding program in next year's season, aren't we, Jared? So we've recorded her at 1305. Let's move now on to. So Jaffa is your one of your favourite boys. Yeah, he's, he's doing well. Boy, don't need to worry about him. And then we've got a pastel lesser clown mango, and we've got the female, which is. We weighed her earlier. What was she coming in at? Do you remember? Um, I think she was like a thousand and something. Yeah. She wasn't quite big enough. We won't weigh her again. She was uh, I think Mango I'd like to have a look at, Jane. Let's see how Mango's doing. Gorgeous snake, Jad. Gorgeous yeah. snake. Isn't she just lovely? So I've got some big plans for you. She's got pastel and she's got Lesser. Lesser in there as well, isn't it? Yeah, she's a pastel lesser clown. I and mean, she's she feeds like an absolute trooper. Incredibly good feeder. Yeah, she's Do gonna you know be what? Thirteen you know or fourteen. What? I think she's not far off fourteen hundred, Jared. I'm going fourteen thirty. I wanna say thirteen eighty five. What is that? Thirteen eighty three. <laughs> no, but her head's over, so give me two more grand. 13, oh, it's 1984 there. Th you give her 1385. <laughs> I think someone's been in there secretly weighing. No, no. <laughs> I must go salmon fishing if my luck's in this. <laughs> I should enter my own competition. I think I might win myself a hundred pound gift voucher. Um, what's her number? 105. 105. And she was exactly 1385. 1385, yeah. Do you know what? She's just amazing. And she's only what? She's only about, what, 18 months old? Um, she's incredible, Joe, isn't it? Yeah, she's not too old. Yeah, because we got her from Europe about what six months ago. And she yeah. came in at about three hundred, was she? She's only been eating once a week. Uh, some yeah. snakes just gain weight really quick, but she just eats ferociously. And she retains a lot, but yeah. I'm really pleased because Mango's going to come in for next year, isn't she? Yeah. And then Giovanni, who's our beautiful Italian banana cheese stripe, super pastel which actually came from Marco. Just in case anyone's wondering, not really Italian, just the name. I like the name. Giovanni is lovely boy, my beautiful boy. I reckon he's gonna be about 800. Yeah, 860. 880. 880, so again, he could come in, but we're gonna build him a bit more. 880 grams. So, yeah, I can see him coming in. We can start producing some het um, G-stripes, Jared. Could be interesting. Yeah, G-stripes are a tough one, because there's a lot it, of top breeders are starting to use them all. Like yeah. Justin's starting to bring them in. And but figuring out what to put it with is yeah, the key thing. I think banana goes well with G-stripe, and there's some other ones that would go well. And I think the clown G-stripes look quite nice as well. So. We've certainly got enough clowns. It might be good to get the G-stripe into the clown gene, Jared. Now we've got quite a few of the girls coming up. Maybe yeah. we'll put the G-stripe into one of them and produce some double hats. So this one is the male, one of your babies, Jared. That one's selling as well. This one's gonna be sell, selling. He's 66% het for pied and 50% het for albina. Yeah. So he's available. We'll probably sell him for what? 50 quid or something? Yeah. It's not expensive. If everybody want, wants to get into that project, let us know. And he's ready to go. He could breed. Topaz is the male super lesser bell. Which again, let's have a look at him. He's doing well, Jared, isn't he? Yeah. Should we just weigh him and see how he's packing on the way? I'm gonna say twelve hundred and sixty. I'm gonna say twelve fifty seven. <laughs> He's right. Like 12.51. 12.51. So 48. 12. 12.51. Yeah. So, again. And we haven't really bred with him this year, have we? Because we've got the other bell that we're breeding with. Yeah. So, he's our we backup bell, isn't he? Yeah. 
Okay, and then the next one we're going to look at is. There's only five minutes left, by the way. Sorry? Five minutes left. Five minutes left. So let's just look at Joe. Now, Joe is. We wanted it earlier. Yeah. She was 13 something. 1380, I think she was. Yeah. So she's one of your babies, isn't she? She's lovely. Hit pied, 50% hit up, you know. Let's say 1380. And I think we'll leave it there, Jared, and we can weigh the other ones another time. So yes. Yeah. Number 27. So we've got the weights on all of those. And should we just finish that row? So we've got Angelo, Mel. Let's do Lala at the bottom, Jared, number 19. She's not in shed. She might be in shed, but. She looks like she's going into shed. Actually, she just came out of shed. So oh, really? Yeah. She's always had that dark pattern about, but I'd like to see what she's weighing in there. I'm going to say that she's 1220. Mm. Yeah, I'd say about that. I'd just say about 1138. 1138. I think that's what I'd guess. 1138. And she's number 19. So there we go. So I think we've kind of weighed quite a few of our girls, one or two of our boys. But the future looks very good, Jared. I think with all these coming up now, we yeah. put in the hard work of cleaning, feeding, and looking after them. And I think next year, Jared, we've got probably another 10 to 15 girls to add to our breeding population, which would be good because not every snake will breed every year. So these new girls coming up, once they're up to size, they'll fill in the gaps for the ones that we're going to rest and hopefully give us more egg production and more variety. I hope you enjoyed our little, well, big tour today. We've given quite a big tour, haven't we, Jared? Yeah. Um, we haven't just need to check the eggs, Jared. This is part of the last part. We must check our eggs, see how they're doing. They've only got literally three weeks before they're going to pip. And I'll just do a temperature reading on those. Oh, I've already, already checked the temperature today. What was the temperature? They were 90. Yeah, they're staying constant. They're all good. A little tip, me personally, I don't open it more than once a day if, yeah. I, if I need to do that. Yeah, and if we do, it's really quick anyway. Like, yeah. Because you've got bottles in there, the temperature. There's stays. no bottles in this one. Oh, okay. Right. right. So we probably don't need to, fit. We need to get some bottles to fit in there because the key is that when you're opening, the temperatures come back quicker when you've got bottled water in there because it keeps it warm, yeah. isn't it, Jad? So everyone have a lovely day. I hope everyone's projects are going well. This is the exciting time. Um, I think we've covered everything we need to cover today. Uh, good luck with the competition. There's literally just one more day to go and then uh, it all finishes at 12 o'clock on Thursday. We've had quite a few people give us some answers that Jared and I tomorrow and tomorrow will go through those and uh, we'll pick the winner based on the accuracy and the speed um, but there's still time for someone to come in and, uh, and and still win the competition remember the non-UK winners get a hundred pound gift voucher from Amazon and the UK winner will get Aladdin and just have a quick look at Aladdin uh, here he is looking good looking beautiful He's a cinnamon 100% TSK exantic. Yeah, so he's the prize for the UK. So uh, literally there's 24 hours left on the comp. So we'll see who wins. Yeah, and there'll be less than that because I'll probably upload this tomorrow. So literally there'll probably be a few hours left on this competition by the time this video is uploaded. But we will be finishing Thursday 12 noon UK time. And then we'll announce on Friday. And then we make the announcement on Friday. But thank you everyone. We're up to 519 subscribers. So we've had another 19 subscribers in a few days, which is wonderful. So. Thank you very much for your support and we shall see you tomorrow. Bye bye for now.